Hi guys, Lizzie's Life here. How are you? I'm currently 19 weeks and 4 days pregnant. Baby's the size of a zucchini. And on July the 4th, which is American Independence Day, is when we find out whether baby is going to be a boy or a girl. So my husband thinks it's going to be a boy and I think it's going to be a girl, but we're happy with a baby, a very healthy baby. Um, we're just happy to be pregnant. So my symptoms, um, I've had to be put on methyl dopa, which is a blood pressure regulator. Um, it's a tiny little yellow pill and I take one in the morning and one at night and this pill reduces my blood pressure because it's been skyrocketing since I've been pregnant so they've had to put me on that. Uh, I have a specialist appointment that's been moved forward in July so I'll see her and I'll tell you about um, what we talk about when I get there. I've been very very emotional <laughs> during this pregnancy. Um, I'm either really really happy or really really upset and it can be tiny little things that upset me um, or tiny little things that make me really happy so that's no fun but um, other than that I can slightly feel baby kicking sometimes but I don't know if it's baby kicking or having gas because of my anterior placenta so currently 19 weeks and four days and I still haven't um, really felt baby move or seen my belly go up and down or do rollies you know roly poly set like I had with my son uh, Charlie and um, this is Lumby you'll see his tail say hi Lumby his real name's Columbus but he obviously wants to join us for the video so some fun things this week I've been going through the prem clothes and the newborn clothes of Charlie's and that's been really emotional. So I pick particular items up and say to my husband, Oh, do you remember when Charlie wore this? Or um, the real eye-opening thing was when um, I found Charlie's first set of prem clothes that they dressed him in Skaboo as he was a prem baby with low APGA scores. Um, that was really emotional. I remember just bringing home this tiny little bundle of joy and he was really tiny and I've just gone through um, my box that um, my husband made for me for our wedding and it's got my wedding vows in it and it's got uh, Charlie's little tiny um, wristband that they get at the hospital um, yes yeah, so it's a tiny little wristband and um, the skaboo uh, band that they put around them with all the different monitors so I think it was on this wrist I don't really remember I was just out of a c-section and um, I saw my baby once in 12 hours and then he was finally given back to me which was really nice yeah so all these little tiny things of Charlie's and I'm thinking oh is this baby gonna be a boy and am I gonna be able to put um, Charlie's clothes on this little boy or is it going to be a girl and how can I sell all these little things or give them away when you know they are so special um, as Charlie is our first baby and then we've had two miscarriages in the middle um, May 2014 was our first miscarriage Charlie was born January 2014 so a couple of months later we miscarried um, May 2014 and then we miscarried uh, June 2015 and now we've got pregnant March 2016 so um, everything's looking good for this pregnancy though yeah how do I give away all these little special boy clothes we do end up having a girl and buying brand new clothes which I'm, I'm really excited about um, buying brand new girls clothes or getting clothes off trade me I get a lot of clothes off trade me which is a New Zealand website sort of like Amazon or Etsy for you American viewers. I, I, I can't wait if it is a girl to buy pink and purple because I'm, I'm getting a little over um, Charlie's interest at the moment at diggers and trucks and cars and planes and I would just love to sit down with a little girl and play with tiaras and 
Barbie dolls and just wear tutus and um, dance around. Not saying that Charlie doesn't play with that kind of stuff because uh, um, we were ca uh, I was cleaning up our garage the other day and I found an old one of my toys, a Barbie doll and a horse and he absolutely loved it and he was dressing the Barbie doll so we have nothing against Charlie playing with um, aka girls toys um, but I would just love to be able to dress um, a little baby girl in something pink and frilly and um, something completely adorable but we're really lucky in New Zealand we have a lot of adorable boys clothes as well so then in the comments you can guess whether it's a boy or a girl and we've already picked out the names and they start with an F both of the boy name and the girl name starts with an F so if you want to do some guessing before my next video which will be the gender reveal and then after that it will be the name reveal um, we're very very clear about these two F names boys and girls F names uh, I don't know why we came up with two F names this time uh, Charlie's name was pretty fixed in my family uh, we use a lot of ancestral names so um, Charlie my dad's name is Charles and then his middle name is James and Gary and James is my husband's name and Gary is my husband's dad's name so that's Charlie James Gary so um, this one we've had a little bit more freedom to choose whatever we want but both of them have come out as F names so guess I'm really really happy for you to comment when I see the specialist um, I think it's the middle of July now I believe it was the end of July I should get my book c-section date I would say it's around the 4th of November I could be completely wrong uh, my due date is the 20th of November or the 26th of November sorry baby brain I tell you baby brain is a real thing so other than that that's how I'm going I'll show you my belly and then um, please comment I love comments, I, I reply to all of you. Uh, I've got seven subscribers at the moment, which is really cool. And I've nearly got 200 views on my six videos. So awesome. So I'll see you later. And remember, this is Lizzie's life. Bye, guys.